Hello everyone, this is Inspire 2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So, the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Libra, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 12th until the 18th of September 2016. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Five of Wands. This card indicates that you are in the midst of conflict, tension and competition and it is impacting your ability to move forward with your goals. Rather than being able to work together with others, you are coming up against it and are constantly being challenged on your point of view. The trouble is that everyone is trying to express their point of view and opinions but no one is listening, and so there is little progress. There is only conflict and there is little or no value in the discussions that are occurring. Similarly, this card is representative of a group of people who are committed to an end but they cannot fully agree on how to implement this goal, as each has their individual agenda as to how to bring this to fruition. Aim to turn this into constructive conflict by allowing each person to openly share their thoughts but then listen to other people's thoughts. Once everyone has been heard and all opinions have been considered, determine the best path forward. Sometimes, this type of conflict and discussion can be very positive, such as in the case of group brainstorming and problem solving. You need a positive environment where you can test your ideas and have them challenged, and improved, by others. You may benefit by establishing a working group, committee or mastermind group with other individuals who bring varying perspectives and experiences. Be open to this type of conflict and discussion as a positive contribution to improving the quality of your ideas and actions. The Five of Wands often points to competition where you are up against a number of people of similar quality or experience as you. You may not be used to having to compete with others just yet. As you have built your success on your own but now it is time to truly experience what competition really means and requires. It is like the top student who excels at university, only to enter the workforce with a number of other high performing individuals and is forced to compete for the top spot. Where there is competition, respect your opponent but stand up for your point of view. Fight the tendency towards frustration, anger, hate and prejudice. The Five of Wands also encourages diversity and differences of opinion. You may be in a situation where you are dealing with people from different cultures and backgrounds, and may be struggling with accepting their way of living. 
know that each person has something unique to bring to the table and that you will actually benefit by learning more about them and what they have to offer. The Five of Wands encourages an enthusiastic approach to change. Change is coming, whether you like it or not. However your challenge will be in ensuring that everyone is on the same page and is focused on dealing with this change constructively and positively. Currently, there is scattered energy resulting from misdirected enthusiasm. Everyone has many ideas but no one is that to bring them into one consistent path forward. Your role may be in identifying a clear strategy and purpose that can be implemented by all involved. Sometimes, the Five of Wands indicates a personal struggle and conflict, either about external or internal issues that are causing a lot of tension and confusion for you. You have different opinions of your own about how you should approach your current circumstances and you have not really worked out in your own mind what your final stance is going to be. You may be trying to work through your personal point of view on a number of external contentious issues such as abortion, immigration, globalization, or the environment, or you may be working through personal issues such as whether you stay or leave a particular relationship or job. At the same time, you have others around you who have strong views about what you should do and this, in total, is creating a huge amount of conflict, tension and disagreement. Just when you think you have a clear point of view, you are challenged on that view or you discover new information, and you change your standpoint again. This process is actually highly beneficial and will help you to come to a well-researched and well-thought-out perspective. Know, too, that there is no right answer, and whichever path you do choose, someone is not going to agree with it. So, you have to find the most comfortable option possible that sits best with you. It may not be 100% right for you but you need to choose whatever is closest. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the Six of Cups. This is a card of childhood, nostalgia, naive happiness, and generosity. You want to return to the happy memories of your past, whether as a child, teenager or adult. Oftentimes, though, these memories are indeed a thing of the past and reflect aspects of your life that have since vanished. You may feel that the only way to connect to this happiness is to escape into the past where you can reflect on your happy and beautiful memories, instead of dealing with current challenges. This is fine if you are simply taking a walk down memory lane but it is important that you live in the present and accept your current circumstances rather than always living in the past. Oftentimes, there is nothing wrong with looking back at the good times for inspiration when things are not going so well. In the midst of change and crisis, the Six of Cups suggests that looking back at what you have endured is a good way to assure yourself that, whatever trials lay ahead, you will meet them and you will overcome them as you overcame others. After losses such as those on the Fives, the Six of Cups suggests that you need to take time out to heal, look back on the past and all the good that lies there. During this period of reflection, there is no need to focus on the negative. Instead, bring all of the positive energy from the past into your present and your future. The fallen cups are now full and upright again but with blooming flowers that cannot be spilled or washed away. Now that you have looked back, the way forward will be clear and enlightening. The six of cups can represent a return to a familiar environment or to a childhood place. You may return to your hometown, to your parents' house, to your high school or even kindergarten. You could be going to a high school reunion or reconnecting with a childhood acquaintance. A teenage sweetheart or past lover may turn up again. Allow yourself positive, nostalgic memories of childhood, friends and family. If you can, spend time with younger people. The Six of Cups can also point to your inner child and suggests a need to experience childlike joy. 
the child you were still lives within you and must be cared for. This is often referred to as working with your inner child. People with persistent problems such as addiction, depression, troubled relationships and chronic dissatisfaction can transform their lives with inner child work and find a new joy and energy in living. The source of your problems may be in past events that are triggered in the present. We are made up of many parts and inside we still have the little child and adolescent we were with all of its experiences and feelings. This can lead to the inner child reacting strongly to certain experiences, situations and feelings in the present, based on experiences of the past. Working with your inner child and getting to know where these feelings come from can change that and enhance your choices in miraculous ways. When we are being playful, spontaneous, creative, intuitive and surrendering to the spiritual self, our genuine authentic self, who we know deep within us, our real self is being welcomed and encouraged to be present. The Six of Cups can also refer to children in your life. It can denote a pregnancy, birth or adoption, depending on the other cards in the reading. Or, it may indicate that you are about to spend more time with young children, playing, laughing and learning together. Children play a significant role in your present life, and can serve as great advisors. Children are good role models to follow when this card is present. They see the world as a completely perfect place and their hearts are open to experience the myriad pleasures of the world around them. The Six of Cups almost radiates an aura of joy, because it represents the past with all its memories, the present with all its gifts, and the future with all its wondrous opportunities. The Six of Cups can thus signal a gift given or received, or some other similar gesture. You may be inspired to act kindly or charitably, or to do a good turn for another person. You are more open to sharing what you haven't been well intentioned. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is. The Nine of Pentacles. This card indicates that you have reached a point in your life where you are feeling self-confident, self-sufficient, independent and free. By acting on your own accord, you have attained well-deserved success and may now enjoy money, leisure time, pleasure, material comfort and rest. You appreciate what is now available to you, knowing that the difficulties are over. You also know that you can complete any work necessary through confidence, self-discipline and patience. The Nine of Pentacles is about enjoying the good life and the fruits of your labor. You have worked hard to get here, so now, sit back and relax and enjoy some of life's luxuries. You deserve it. Do not be afraid to splurge, indulge or pamper yourself, particularly if it is as a reward for all of your hard work. Treat yourself to a special occasion, to simply celebrate the journey you have been on to achieve your goals and to re-energize yourself for the next phase. You are close to reaching completion, so acknowledge this and then prepare for what will come after. Sometimes, however, the Nine of Pentacles can indicate that you are close to reaching your goal but you have not yet made it. So, as a result, you may want to stick to your program and continue sacrificing until you have reached that goal. You are showing great self-discipline and self-control to ensure you get to where you want to be. Whilst the suit of pentacles typically focuses on material wealth and gain, the nine of pentacles also suggests that you are in harmony with the nature that is around you. You have an appreciation for the beauty and abundance found in nature and you are able to harness this energy to bring pleasure into your life. You may enjoy gardening or floristry, or you may simply like to pass your time in the beauty of nature with picnics or walks in the park. The Nine of Pentacles can indicate a time of restraint, poison grace. The figure in the card is very ladylike and refined. She lives a comfortable, luxurious lifestyle and is able to keep herself looking nice. 
this is a time when you need to carry yourself with grace and refinement, and to be tactful and diplomatic in your dealings with others. The last card for you is guidance for your love life. The guidance card for you is the Prince of Autumn. Sometimes you don't need to rush to action. Some people like to have a plan first, says the Prince of Autumn. Yes, that was a bit of a jab at the Prince of Winter, and, oh man, does this Prince have a plan? He has everything figured out from A to Z, with multiple backup options should you need them. Courageous, gallant, trustworthy, and kind. This prince is your protector and is truly watching out for you in every way. He is much like a fairy guardian, who has the added benefit of being able to put together a sound business plan for you. Still, he doesn't move very fast. It's going to take him time to get things done. You may have to wait a while. The Prince of Autumn floats slowly and gently upon a leaf. He is in no hurry to take action, but the light at the end of his staff reflects the intellectual brilliance at work inside his mind. Additional meanings of this card, cautious but wise action. A very hard worker. A nature lover who is often a vegetarian or vegan. Meticulous attention to detail. Putting other people first. A message from the fairies. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.